Hey guys, Alex Rack with another Kaiju figure review with Azariah. And today we're going to be reviewing the deluxe concept art figure. Accent. Yay. So, first of all, let's begin with history on Accent. So, this figure's um, review is going to be much longer because not also are we going to go over detail, articulation, paint job, and um, sizing comparison and final thoughts. But we're also going to go over the comparison between Axe Head and the other Pacific Rim Kaiju because Axe Head has lots of similarities and differences to his Kaiju brethren. So first off for history, um, let's go into history about the actual figure itself, not actually the character, but the figure. Now this figure is based off of the concept art of Trespasser, which, as I may have me Trespasser please, this is Trespasser. Now, this is the final result what we got from the Pacific Rim movie. But this, but if it would, but this started it all. Axe Head started the whole Trespasser thing. So, this is the final product. This is the concept art. Now, for those of you who actually like Axe Head more than Trespasser, that's actually fine by me. Whichever one you like, it doesn't really matter. Which one do you like better, Azariah? I like, uh, I like Trespasser. Yeah, Trespasser. I like Trespasser. Yeah, I. You see, on my birthday, when I was trying to get this figure, I said, okay, Mom, I gotta get the new figure of Toys R Us. And I went to Toys R Us, and I saw Trespasser and Turner Alpha, but what was so strange that earlier this year, like five months ago, remember, Azrael, I was trying to get Trespasser, but they didn't have him anymore? Yeah. Well, all of a sudden, they had him, and he wasn't even on the website anymore, but they had him. And I was like, okay, now since I got Trespasser, you know what, screw it, I don't need um, Axe Head. So, but then I saw some reviews from Ultraman Kronos and Outside the Box Review and um, Steven's Toy Review. And I was like, oh, snap, Axe Head is really pretty neat. I mean, he has cool color and I really love the, you know, the paint on him. But I'm going to be getting more into that when I go over the paint job in detail. So, first off, we're not going to be doing a comparison yet. Um, that's after we go over everything. So, first off, let's talk about the history of Axe Head. Now, Axe Head is basically Trespasser. Um, history on Trespasser is that he was the first kaiju from the breach. He appeared on the breach, he destroyed San Francisco, but the military eventually brought him down after a few days. So, it took him a while to be brought down, but unlike Godzilla, he did die by the military. But this is even better than Zilla, because at least, because Zilla died in less than five minutes by missiles. Trespasser survived six days by being hit by continuous missiles and tank shells. So, Trespasser, I mean, Axe Head, or... Basically, both of them are way stronger than Zilla, which is pretty funny because America is stronger now. So, first off, let's go into paint job. Paint job on this figure, this paint has a lot of good features about paint. You have this nice, dark, kind of greenish, kind of forest color, leaf, whatever you want to call it, that goes all the over the body on the, on the, what do you call this? On the horn, you have this gray outlining on the horn. Sorry, guys. On the eyes, you have, like, these yellow eyes with black pupils. Inside the mouth, you have, like, some, you know, some very gray kind of blackish kind of teeth, dirty teeth, and a pink tongue. And then for the figure, you have, like, in the st chest through stomach area, and even on the bottom jaw, you have this nice aqua blue color, this light baby blue color, which is very beautiful. And then for most of the outline, instead of having the bioluminous stripes, this time Axed has yellow dots, which I actually thought looked goofy, but then when I saw it in person inside the packaging, it looks so awesome. So that's right, um, I need to know your thoughts on the yellow dots. Do you think they look goofy or do you think they look awesome? Seems like he has an infection. An infection? Like smallpox or whatever you call those things? Virus. He actually looks like he has a virus. I mean, look at him. He looks like he can't be touched. Scary. Well, kaiju do have this blood in their thing called kaiju blue, which is infectious, so you're kind of right about that. So for the nails and most of the spikes, you know, you have like this kind of blackish, this kind of blackish glossy color um, for like the bones. And then on the knees, which is my favorite part, is that you have this black armor there, but you have blue cre crevices in the middle, I mean, all over the, you know, the leg armor. And then over on the back, you have, like, this brown shell with, like, you know, some tannish outlinings and brushes, then more, some green, you could tell, in some of the brush areas. 
and once again black for the spikes and even black behind the head and then the tail goes all the way down to green but there's an area where it's just black like what happened there they could have finished the rest of it it looks just like knife its tail but worse because at least knife has some blue in it okay so that's it for paint job um i do have to give it just a point down because the tip of the tail is black and trespasser's tail was completely painted so if this figure came, if these figures came way before Accent, how come they just couldn't paint it a bit more green? Do, will you give it a point off as right? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a bit distracting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Especially from an already almost perfect figure, like I said, as right. And like I said to the audience, there can never be a figure that's perfect. It doesn't exist. Um. So next, let's go into detail. Now, detail on Accent is very good. What do you say, so as right? Yeah. So detail's very good. On the head, you have like this very nice detail on like the axe. Very good detail, especially in the facial area. And when you open his mouth, you can see even more detail. Like, let me just lift it up. You can see it. You can see good detail. Then for the skin, you have this nice skinny lizard kind of texture. The nails are very good because they're very glossy. In the blue area, you have all these ridges and stuff. Almost look like a suit actor could be in here. Does it look like a suit actor could be in here? Yeah, but you know, the CGI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then for the uh, for the leg army, it's really good because it's all black, and you can even see like different lines sectoring it. And the blue in there is very good. Then more on the legs, more lizardy structure, and the yellow dots. They're not just yellow dots, but they all have orange outlinings. And then for the black nails, they're very good. But now let's go to the back of the shell. Now the shell, like I said before, is very good. The shell has like all these ridges and bumps and creases. And then one spike has even been blown off. Now, according to what I've heard on this figure, this um, the kaiju were originally supposed to be ancient beasts that fought each other, but that's why Axat has a spike kind of cut off. But otherwise, this figure looks very good and it actually adds some unique, uniqueism, uniqueistic, <laughs> unique, <laughs> unique stuff to the figure. And then down at the tail, unfortunately, the detail got really bad at the tail as it's just a black tip. Now, why couldn't they just add in just a bit more green paint? You know, even I could have added that much more green paint. But, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I forgive it, but I'm still going to have to give it a point down just because of that. Because, like I said before, no figure's perfect. Next, let's go into articulation. As you guys know, NECA is basically... Second to SH Monstar is right behind his tail on articulation. Now, articulation on this guy, you can pretty much, like, you know, basically it's trespasses articulation, but from what I've heard, it has a bit better articulation. Like, you can move the head kind of sideways, so you can get some pretty good head movement. You can kind of move it up and down. Um, the arms kind of move three, the arm, the giant arm moves 360, but be careful for the shoulder spike right there. You can also move at the elbow. You can go like that. The hands can move 360, but I don't feel like moving them 360. You can also do the same with the other hands. So, oh yeah, and you can also, if you lift the head up good enough, you can also open the mouth or close it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points of articulation so far. Next, let's go into the lower arms right there. So the lower arms, you can move it like this. You could kind of swivel it in, but they're kind of stiff. You could also go like this. You could also move the hands 360, and then you can move the hands back and forth. I'm sorry, guys, but there's someone bringing out some clothes outside. Sorry, please forgive that. So they could also move the hands like this. So totally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 points of articulation so far. And then you could also move the waist. It kind of swivels like that. So, yeah. And then you can also move the legs. You can move at the knee. Like, I think you can move at the knee. Let me just, yeah, you can move at the knee. And then you can move at the foot. Oops, sorry guys. Chest, um, axe hats had accidentally got on the stand that I was using. So all in all, very good articulation. Let's just back it up a bit. Yeah, it's like nine inches or something like that, or 10. No, it's not 10 inches, it's not near. It's like nine or seven inches. Um, so you yeah, have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 points of articulation. Not also to mention, you get the bendy wire tail. 
So, and all in all, like, six, 17 points of articulation, all in all. So, yeah, it's very cool how we have 17 points of articulation on accent. So, for the next part of the review, now we're going to be going over the size comparison. So, for size comparison with accent, um, accent is probably around like 7 or 9 inches, somewhere in that scale. He's definitely bigger than your standard 6 inch figures, and he's very good. Hey, Mom, do you have any thoughts on accent? Mom, you gotta get closer. We can't hear you. I like Axia because he's rugged looking, unlike Trespasser, but I do like Trespasser because he has more colors and brighter. Um, the concept art um, is a little different. Um, it's not as bright as Trespasser. Oops. Um, but it's more military like or more ocean like. You know? Hey, Mom, it looks more like an organic creature, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Well, the other ones just look like aliens. Hey, Mom, did you ever notice that his spike was off here? Um, did you know, Mom, that they were that the, these creatures were supposed to be ancient beasts that fought each other? So that's why Axe's spike is off? Yeah, it looks like, um, mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. Okay, guys, so my mom just gave her thoughts on the figure. If you can really hear her, um, sorry if you couldn't. But anyway, let's go on to size comparison. So, for, wait, before we go into size comparison, let's go into compar compa um, comparison, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm messing up today, aren't I, as a I must be under pressure. But next, let's go into an actual comparison between Trespasser and Axe Head. Let me just get the figure in stand-up position, and here we go. So, first off, off the bat, Axe Head is actually a bit taller, or maybe it's just because I have him leaning down. Now, their head is actually a bit different because, look guys, you have like four head spikes on the back of his head. Just look, it's like two over here and two over there. But on Axe Head, it's only two back spikes. Um, also, another thing that's different is that the um, the axe is different. Like, this looks wider while this looks thinner. Uh, it looks sharper. And then, now, let's look at the um, the color. Now, obviously, the color is very different. Um, let's look at the hands. Now, the hands on Trespasser, they're more like knife heads because knife head is based off of, you know, it's based off of trespasser but then he has these kind of hands now some of you guys may be like whoa what kind of hands are those well surprise surprise it's scunner's hands yeah that's right guys scunner's hands are on axe head isn't that just amazing as yeah so as right which one do you like better the individualized hands kind of like do you like trespasser's hands or do you like scunner's hands i like trespasser's hands why do you like trespasser's hands for uh because Okay, so let's go into their shells. Now, their shells are very different. Um, first of all, just look at their shells. Oh, oh my goodness, it fell over. So their shells are very different. Axe head having like more like an axe kind of shell. Like literally, it's like a giant axe of a shell. But scun, I mean, oh, is this scunner? But tra axe head has like a scunner kind of shell. Yeah, he has the shell that's based off of scunner and knife head. Like just look at scunner shell, like scunner shell. And look at Axe Head's um, shell. Also, Knife Head has the same shell as Scunner. So, Axe Head is kind of like a combination of both Trespasser, Knife Head, and Scunner. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. So, yeah, that's basically it. Now, let's go into the head structure. Now, the detailing in the head is a bit different. If you guys could tell, like, the, like this one looks more texture, while this one kind of looks... They both look very textured, but because of the different colors, they look a bit different. Next, let's go into the hands, the lower hands. So, that's right. Do you notice any difference about the lower hands between Trespasser and Axe Head? No. Well, here's something you might have not noticed. Trespasser has four fingers. Axe Head has three. Oh, 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 oh. Shoot. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of differences. Also, Axe Head has a knee spike right there. And also, um... Yeah, Trespasser doesn't. So there's like lots of differences. However, there are lots of similarities besides the body structure and the paint. But that's basically all I have for you to compare to. Also, their shoulder spikes are different. Like just look at this spike. This one looks more like Scunners and Knife Heads. All this one is much bigger and beefier. So their, spike, their shells and spikes and all this kind of stuff are very different compared to each other. Even their teeth are a bit different in terms of color. 
But that's all I have for um the comparison compared to Axe Head. Next, let's try to go into size comparison. So first figure we're gonna size compare him up to is Godzilla Jr. So here's Godzilla. Oh, epic fail. Here's Godzilla Jr. compared to um Axe Head. Now this is actually not very good sizing, as Godzilla Jr. should be much bigger than this, possibly up to his chest. Next, let's bring out Chibi Mechagodzilla 2. This is not very good sizing, as Mechagodzilla 2 would probably be the same size as Axe Head. Next, let's bring out Female Muto. This is terrible sizing, isn't it? Yeah. Next figure, let's bring out King Joe from Ultra 7. Now this is bad sizing. Actually, this is actually not bad sizing for a fight. I believe Axel should be bigger, but this is but King Joe is like very small, so it makes sense a bit. Next, let's bring out Space Godzilla. Now this is terrible sizing, right, Ezra? Yes, because Space Godzilla should at least be a little bit taller. Yeah, Space Godzilla should be definitely taller or as tall as Axel. Next, let's bring out the Jaeger that he did not fight, but another Jaeger, Gypsy Danger Hong Kong. Now, this is actually very good sizing because Gypsy Danger is, the Jaegers are usually smaller than the Kaiju. So next, let's bring out another Kaiju that was based off of him, Knife Head. This is actually pretty good sizing because Knife Head is slightly smaller, but because of the, the back spike, it makes Axe Head just a bit bigger because of Axe Head's back spike. And last but not least, the behemoth of them all, it's Scunner. This is actually pretty good sizing for a fight, but I believe Scunner should be much taller than this. So, yeah. Okay, so we're done with size comparison. Let's go to our final thoughts on the figure. So, final thoughts on the figure. Um, I think that this figure has very nice paint job. At first, I thought it was just stupid. Well, I didn't think it was stupid, but I just thought it was going to look so weird because it was green with yellow polka dots. Plus... You. Bless you. So I thought, I was, I was like, wow, this monster's gonna have yellow polka dots. What is this, like something off of a children's show? But then when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, this figure looks awesome. And all in all, I have to say this figure is very good. So I give it a 9.8 out of 10. Again, like I said, even though this figure is so amazing, I still have to give it points off because of the, you know, the unpainted part of the tail. You see that unpainted part? So yeah, that's why I have to give it two points off. Azariah. So, how many points do you have to do you get this figure? Uh, I'll give the figure a. It'll be a seven point nine. Seven point nine? What's so bad about it? Because I don't like the tail. It's. I also don't like how they. I mean, it's okay. Then how the spike is a little bit chopped off, but then I also don't like it because. I don't know, it's just, it just looks weird. It just, I don't know. It just looks weird. Okay, so, um, I also don't like how it's spotted. Because, how come all the other kaiju don't have that? I mean, I can understand, um, Scunner, I mean, not Scunner. I can understand have, having, like, the lines like the Trespasser and Knifehead does. But, like, he, why does he have to have spots and not lines, you know? It's concept art. So apparently, guys, you heard it from your, for yourself from the man as a Ryan. So it appears that he likes the original Trespasser. Personally, I do, but I would have also liked to see Axehead. But then again, I think as a Ryan does prove put up some pretty good points in terms of how terrifying which one looks like. Okay, guys, so thank you guys for watching. You heard our score. Post down a comment below what your thoughts on this figure and your rating. I would really love to have a discussion with you guys in the comments below. Um, and I'll give you a link to Azurai's channel. And thank you guys for watching, and goodbye. goodbye. Next figure review is 84. Bye.